So then guys, if you haven't heard the news already, Apple are looking to make a budget MacBook. And today I want to go over all the details we know about this new MacBook that is on its way and what it's going to give us when it comes out. So let's begin then, first of all, with what this MacBook is going to actually look like. Well, it's the, got the potential that this new MacBook could take one of two different designs. The first design it could look like is something what you're seeing right here on my desk right now. This here is the 12 inch MacBook that came out back in 2015. This was actually Apple's thinnest, lightest MacBook they'd ever made back then. But the thing is though with this MacBook, it didn't really have too much of a good history after its launch. It had the butterfly keyboard that was cursed with problems. Then also the actual chip inside of this was called the Intel M Core chip. Not the M chip that we're used to today with Apple Create, it was an Intel one, and it didn't have any kind of thermal kind of um, sort of insulations or anything like that, so it got hot really, really quickly, and overall it wasn't that powerful. Also, there were other problems with this MacBook, that like the hinge wasn't the best, and there were also loads of other difficulties with it too. But what I would say with this MacBook is that I'm sure that Apple would love to bring back this design as long as they ironed out all the problems. Remember, since this time, we do not have the butterfly keyboard anymore. We have the magic keyboard now. And then also, I'm sure they've sorted out hinge problems. And then also to do with that thermal kind of problem, well, we know right now that, for example, the MacBook Air, what has either an M1, M2, or M3, or M4 chip, and it doesn't have any kind of big thermal problem problems right now. So this is something what else that Apple would definitely be okay with, with actually bringing back this design. Now the other design that we could potentially see with this budget MacBook is actually a revival of the MacBook Air design that we had from 2018 to 2020. Remember the M1 MacBook Air had this exact same design and so this could also come back for us. Remember this design was also very short-lived, it was only from 2018 to 2020 so it wasn't long at all but a lot of people still rave about this design that the 13.3 inch display we had with it and also it still had that classic macbook air kind of wedge design people just love this so this could also be in favor here that this could also be the other design that we could also see back with this macbook now, what I would also be saying with either of these designs is that since that time, obviously we've had updates with sort of thinner bezels and also the notch at the top being introduced like in the M2 MacBook Air and the MacBook Pros we have right now. And I think that obviously Apple would probably update the look of these two sort of screens right now to actually have something like that, thinner bezels, and then obviously to possibly even put the notch in place. But we'll just have to wait and see on that. Now, something else that Apple could also introduce into the design of the MacBooks, no matter which one they pick, and that is colors. Now, do remember like the likes of the iMac that we have right now, there's multiple colors that you can pick from, and this is something that Apple may introduce for it. We could see something like we're seeing in these renders here. We get like a purple or green or a blue color or other colors introduced into this. So this would be really awesome for Apple to introduce colors into it, and I'm sure you guys would love to see this too, especially it's gonna be the budget MacBook. So yeah, this is a good chance for Apple to introduce this. But then after this, one other thing to talk about with the design is the actual ports of this MacBook. Now, I think that Apple could go two ways and it all depends on that design that I was telling you about. If we go for this design that we've got right here on my desk, the 12 inch MacBook, well, potentially we'll only have one port on it because this is what this MacBook got. It only got one USB-C port. In fact, it was the first MacBook to actually get that. The other idea is that we could actually get the two port design like we got with that M one MacBook Air or the 2018 MacBook Air I should say had that sort of two ports on it. So this is something else that could be introduced into this. So yeah, just be aware of that, that you're not gonna get multiple ports, you're not gonna get the likes of like HDMI or anything like this, and potentially not even MagSafe could be possible. We may get MagSafe introduced as well, but it might be taken away completely. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But what I also would say with this is don't expect these ports to be super fast, as you'll see in just a moment when we talk about the chip. 
So then guys, just quickly, I want to tell you about the new channel giveaway we are doing and it is for this right here. It's for a iPhone 17 Pro Max in Cosmic Orange. It's also got 256 gigabytes of storage and it's also got a physical SIM card as well because I know some countries out there, you know, don't take eSIMs just yet. And by the way, that does mean it is an international giveaway that I am doing so anyone can enter in. Now the actual giveaway what we're going to do here is going to be happening in the middle of January 2026 and you can enter in right now. There's only two things you have to do. The first thing is what you can do right now is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear you're hoping to get before the end of 2025 or even into early 2026. Put it down into the comments below right now. Now the other thing what you need to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification notification bell because near mid January time I'll be making a video giving you even more details about the giveaway for this iPhone and you won't want to miss out on that video. So like I said make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because more information about this will be coming out around that time. Now the other thing I just want to quickly say to you guys that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me sending to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram direct message. Please do ignore these people. Better see right here. Please do report them. So moving on from this then, what about the chip or should I say the chips that will go inside of this MacBook? Well, we've been told that we're potentially going to be getting the A18 Pro put inside of this. Now, this is the same chip that we've got in the likes of, say, the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And it would be amazing to actually get this chip put inside of this. Now, the first thing you're going to say to me is, well, that is a really slow chip and it's not that amazing. But what you've got to remember is that the A18 Pro in in single core performance is better than say even say the M3 chip what exists right now in single core performance and the M2 and the M1 but in multi-core performance with the A18 Pro it's actually around about the same speed as the original M1 in multi-core but the difference is is that obviously they are a different setup of cores remember the A18 Pro actually has four efficiency cores and just two performance cores and with all the those cores together, like I said, the multi-core performance of that is on par almost with the original M1 and that was four efficiency cores and four performance cores. So this is quite amazing to actually see with this one. Now what something else I want to throw in there is that we also got an A18 Pro. This MacBook potentially would have the best battery life of any MacBook out there. Remember the A18 Pro is very efficient and especially like I just said to you, we've got four efficiency cores and two performance performance course, you can imagine that with your batteries inside, say a 13 inch or even a 12 inch MacBook, your battery life is going to be absolutely superb with this. And not only this, we could also get paired with the N1 chip that got announced, say with the iPhone 17s and the iPhone Air, this could also be going inside of this. So this would give us, say, the likes of, say, Wi-Fi 7 capabilities, and it would also help out with battery life even more. So this would be amazing to see inside of this too. Now the next question you're probably going to ask about is what about say RAM? What's going to happen there? Well the A18 Pro did get paired with the likes of 8 gigabytes of RAM and 8 gigabytes of RAM can work in a MacBook. Remember only just recently in the last year we got upgraded from 8 gigabytes as the baseline to 16. So you know they could still release it with 8 gigabytes but what they could also do is something very similar like what Apple did with the iPhones and that is that we could actually get 12 gigabytes of RAM actually paired up with this. So that is also the potential here. And the other thing I just want to throw into the mix is that there's also the potential that we could also get the A19 Pro put inside of us. But personally, I think as it's a budget machine, I think it's going to be a generation behind because to keep the prices down. But then back to those ports, what I was talking about, if we're only going to get an A18 Pro, or even an A19 Pro inside of this, you can imagine we're not going to get Thunderbolt capability. So most likely the port or the two ports would probably only be USB 3.0 speeds at the fastest, 10 gigabits at the absolute fastest that we would get inside of this. What makes sense for the budget MacBook. 
But then next of all, what about the release date and also the price? Well, let's start with the price first of all. What you've got to remember is that you can pick up right now an iPad Air with an M3 chip in it for the 11 inch screen, for 599 US dollars. And that's a very powerful chip inside of it for what it is at 599 US dollars. Granted, you don't get a keyboard and mouse unless you get the magic one. So with this in line with this, if we're gonna put a, say, a more older kind of chip or say less capable chip than say the standard M3, then what I would be saying with is that the price is probably going to be very similar to what we got with that iPad Air. It's probably going to be around about 599 to 699 US dollars for this budget MacBook, especially if it's being paired up with an A chip inside of it. What well, makes sense, especially if you're getting the keyboard, you know, you're getting the trackpad and everything like that inside of it. So that is the kind of pricing what is looking likely for it. But next of all is the release time. And I'm gonna say this, it's very unlikely it's gonna come out before the end of 2025. Apple wants to make a big show and dance out of this, and they've got enough on their plate before the end of 2025 with M5 devices, and Apple TV, and so on. So it's unlikely that this is going to be released before the end of 2025, more likely 2026 in the springtime. So look towards, I'd say, probably March or April time when you're going to see this budget MacBook on its way. But really, guys, that is the latest and greatest we have on this budget MacBook. Are you excited for it? Are you going to get one when it comes out? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up the video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, when you release Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.